Hey guys, Trollsy's here with the long-awaited part 2 of my node slash CP guide. In the first video I went over the best way to spend around 200 to 250 CP. In this video I'm going to go over how to spend around 300 to 350 CP. So let's get started by going down to Kama Sylvia. So first thing you're going to realize is that this looks rather similar to the 250 CP guide. I still have old wisdom tree workers going over to Kelfion. Those workers being um, a plus 3 timber worker. Um, two plus three produce workers and one plus three or crate worker. So those guys are still going over to Calfion. We're just going to add Grana into the mix. So when we go over to Grana, we're going to have Grana 17 and Grana 16, which are two workshops for the crop factory. We're going to have a Grana 15 for the mineral workbench, as well as Grana 9 for the wood workbench. Um, generally, what I do is I send most of my materials for wood and ore over to Grana, and then when I realize that there's like a little bit of an overstock going on, I'll send the rest of those materials to Old Wisdom Tree. You'll kind of find a balance the more you do it. But as for the actual crops you use, because crops are about one bill of this three bill a month, um, the generally you're going to send most of them to Old Wisdom Tree just because you have so many workers going on there. And then you're going to send about like a third of them or a quarter to Grana since there's only two workshops um, for them. Um, uh, ignore these two nodes if you're not into 62 grinding. This is just temple. But um, continuing on from Grana, you're going to notice that they're not actually connected here. So there's no real reason to connect Grana to the rest of the world until you're actually going in to turn in your crates. So as of now, just leave them unconnected and you'll just pull up a farm or two to connect all of your nodes. There's other parts like this throughout the guide that I will show you. But let's just start at uh, Old Wisdom Tree, very similar to the old guide, but I'm just going to go over everything again for people that haven't seen that one. So we're going to go up through here into Calfion. We're going to get the Longleaf Tree Forest, where we get the Cedar Timber. Go up to Cryoville, up through here to Lumberjack Resting, where we'll get the Cedar Timber. We're going to go over to Tree and Forest for the Fir Timber. Up to Mancha Forest for another Fir Timber through Rudum's to Phoniel's Cabin, where we will get a, another fir timber. And then we're actually gonna go down here to Bear Riverhead. Um, I didn't do this in the last one, it's a tin ore. I've noticed that I have a kind of an overstock of copper compiling, and Powder of Earth is good too, so getting a one to two tin ores is actually a very good idea. Um, going up through Phoniel's Cabin, we'll connect to Calfian City, and from there we'll go all the way up to Quint Hill. So we're gonna get the Birch Timber node there. Um, going to the right of Calfion, we go to DS Farm into Northern Wheat. I don't do cooking, but if you do cooking, you want to make your own beer. These are nice 1 CP notes, the barley and the wheat. Um, go up there to uh, Barnito Farm. It's another good node uh, for alchemy, but I just don't have the CP right now to take it, which is the Trace of Forest. Um, and then Bear Tree Ruins up to here, which is the Birch Timber and Birch Sap. Um, going right um, from Northern Wheat Plantation, we have Old Dandelion, which is another... Um, Calfion timber node, but when we go up, we also have Karudo Cave, which is the second tin ore node I would take if I had the extra CP. So going from the right to DS Farm, we have Delphi Knight Castle down to Oz Pass. So Oz Pass, this will be the last Calfion timber node, um, which is a cedar timber and monk's branch, which can be used in alchemy. Um, going slightly down, we have Keplin to Keplin Quarry for the coal node. And once you have those, you're going to be done with this kind of end of the world. Um, one thing you are going to notice, similar to the, how I have Grana not connected, I don't have Kelfion connected either to the rest of the world, but you're just going to take Bergy Den and Bandit's Den when you go to pull up some of your 10x10 farms, um, or rather 10 farms, so t you'd go to like 10x8 or 10x7, just until you turn in your crates, and you'd connect it right through here from Bandit's and Bergy's. But continuing, we're going to go over down to High Delve. So we're going to connect um, Northern Plains for the Maple Timber. We're going to get Lynch Farm Ruins for Trace of Savagery, um, most important node in the game, in my opinion. Uh, we'll go over here to High Delve. And from High Delve, we are going to actually go down slightly to Glish, where we get the Southern Senega node for Iron Ore. Um, going back to High Delt, we're going to go into Media through Eastern Border, Kama Sylvia Temple, and to Castle Ruins for Maple Timber. And then Soldier's Grave into Tariff. You're basically using the Soldier's Grave node so you can send Tariff workers into Media instead of using Altanova workers into Media. Just because 
when you go to this like higher up area, it takes a lot longer for all tenovenant workers to get there than it does tariff workers. Um, continuing, we're going to go up through Kamasovia Temple to ancient ruins to ancient fissure. Uh, this is going to be a zinc ore node, the only in, no, like node in Media you actually use a Heidel worker for, so make sure you're using Heidel to ancient fissure. Um, the rest will be tariff and continuing onward. So we're going to go up through here, Canyon of Corruption, Elric Shrine for the White Cedar. Um, up here to Maple and the White Cedar Timber node. And then completing the Media crates, we're going to go to the Stonetail Wasteland for Arcea Timber. Uh, go down over here to actual Alta Nova, where we go Alta Nova entrance to Abandoned Iron Mine, where we get the Iron Ore and the Zinc Ore nodes. Back up to Awakening Bell to Omar Lava Cave, where we get the Coal and Zinc Ore nodes. So once you're done with this, we're just going to go over to Velia. So from Velia, we're going to go over to Coastal Cave, where we get the Iron and Copper Ore nodes. And then to Coastal Cliff, where we get the Iron Ore node. From back to Velia, we're going to go down to Bartelli Farm, which is another good node you can get for like one CP. It's a potato node. And then to Toscani Farm, similar thing with the corn. They're both one CP. You can get them if you're into cooking beer. Uh, Forest of Seclusion, we have Copper Ore and Maple Timber. And then going all the way back to Bellinus Forest. Not sure if I showed this, which is Ash Timber Spirit Leaf. Back to Velia, Forest of Plunder. You can get Arrow Mushrooms um, for alchemy. I don't have it, but you can. Go to Goblin Cave, you get the Copper Ore and Ash Timber. And you go up to Ar Arhuaz Hill, where you get the Ash Timber and Ash Sap, which is a very good note as well for alchemy and um, processing. So one other thing I kind of forgot to mention is you can go here and get the Cooking Honey Note, if you're into cooking, as well as going up to Velia and getting the Grape Node for cooking. But once we have that done, uh, you can see that the islands aren't connected, obviously, but same thing. You'll disconnect some farms when you go to actually turn in your crates, but just connect all the islands through here, all the islands through here, all the way to Valencia, or Ancado, rather. So once in Ancado, you have a choice. I personally spend the extra 4 CP it takes to send Encado workers into Deep Valencia instead of using Valencia workers to go into Deep Valencia. That's just because Encado has a transport button where actual Valencia City does not. So it just makes things kind of easier not having to go to Valencia all the time to collect materials. But um, going from Encado, we go down to um, Rakshan Observatory and through here to Palm, to Arihaza Town, to Sand Dune. And we're gonna get uh, Gavino Volcano where we get Titanium and Vandian Ore up here to the titanium ore in uh, the great crater and then another vandian ore node at the coastal cliff so once you have that done you're actually done with all of your real nodes um just kind of putting emphasis on this though you do want 10 by 10 farms that that's very very important um if you're unable to get 10 by 10 farms there are some nodes you can cut if you're like just at 300 cp and you're not quite at 320 you can always cut the um media timber nodes they take a long time to build up and you can also always cut the zinc slash copper nodes and you can just go with um tin copper slightly cheaper but it's kind of up to you uh one thing i am going to show because a lot of people ask for it is what workers i have in what city so in grana i have four grana workers and these are all for crates and old wisdom tree i already showed this but four workers all for crates down over to Trent, I have four workers. These four workers go to Longleaf, Treant, Mancha, and Lumberjack. In Calfion, I have quite a few workers. In Calfion, I actually have 15 workers, but if I had the tin nodes like I wanted, I would have 17 workers. And that's just because I have farms going in Calfion. So if you had your farms in Heidel, the 10 workers would go over there and henceforth. Um, so I have my Kelfion workers going to Phoniel's Cabin. I would have it going to Bear Riverhead. I'd have it going to Old Dandelion, Karudo Cave, and all of these Kelfion nodes. And then we go over to Keplin, and Keplin has one worker going here. So one worker. I think it's a human. Yeah, I have one human worker going there. I have one Glish worker that actually runs nodes and one that makes my um, crates for the, or not crates, um, alchemy tools. In Heidel, I have four workers. 
those four workers being one zinc here, the maple and trace of savagery, and then the maple down here. Um, over to Velia, I have the max workers you can get, which is nine. And those go in all of the Velia nodes. In Tariff, I have four workers, which go to those nodes. And then over to Altanova, I also have four workers, which go to these nodes. In Encado, I have four workers, which go to the Valencia nodes. And as for Valencia, I have four workers. I just don't really use them. Um, another side note for workers, this is more of like a high-end guide where it's 300 to 350 CP and usually when people get to that CP, they buy lodging in every major city or at least most of them and they also buy a lot of their storage through the pearl shop. If you don't have the pearls, you're not doing that. That's perfectly fine. There are little shortcuts you can do. Like I said, take advantage of not having the Glish um, alchemy table workshop going, the tool workshop. Make sure to not have the 4CP going here for Mankato. You can also cut the Media Timber or the Zinc Ore. There's other options for you that are more budget friendly. But the biggest change that will happen if you don't pay is you can only have one worker in Old Wisdom Tree and you're going to want that to be a plus three produce. And then you, what you'll do for your mineral and what you'll do for your wood is you'll just use Trent workers. So you'll get Trent 2 here for the wood workbench, Trent 3 for the mineral, as well as lodging throughout. And then if you need more than that, because you're just processing all the time, you can get the wood workbench here. There's more lodging above. And then bear for another wood workbench and then a mineral workbench here, as well as lodging all throughout. If you just don't have the real money for it or you just don't want to put it in the game, that is kind of your option. It'll still work. It'll be more expensive. It's why I said 300 to 350 CP range, assuming not everyone buys storage and everything. But it might go into like 375, but it'll be under 400 no matter what, which is the new soft cap. But that's kind of how it'll work if you don't want to pay with um, real money. But I hope this guide has helped you. If you have any questions, please feel free to write a comment below. I do my best to reply to everyone. And if you want, you can DM me on Discord as well. I don't really uh, mind. I do tend to forget to message people back though. So feel free to spam me. Um, but I really do hope this has helped you out. If you could send this video to a friend that's trying to build their empire or anyone that would find use in it, I would really appreciate it. And you all have a nice day. In Encado, I have four workers, which go to the Valencia notes. And in Valencia, I have the workers. What? I have the workers. 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 Okay. Um. I have the workers. I have the 